Okay, let's start off the DSI with um, HCAT2I. Okay, we see um, an error message here. Okay, open up the browser. Go to coolds.com. On the top menu bar, go to the download page. Okay, here go to the HCAT2I section. The first one is the firmware, we already have it. And then we go to the third one, the HCAT2I system update for DSI version 1.4. Click on it. And then we are directed to another website, mediafire.com. The file is AK2I app firmware update 1.4. We click here to download. Save the file on desktop. Okay, and then decompress the downloaded file. Right click and extract files. Okay, and then we put in the micro SD card. On the micro SD card, we already have some files here. It's um, the RPG folder, the AK menu.nds, and the release notes. These are the files from the firmware. We leave this here and then go back to the desktop. Go to the the folder with the AK2I update. There are two files. We copy these two files and paste them on the micro SD card. Okay, we next boot up. Um, the HCAT 2i in a regular DS. Okay, we go into the micro SD card and then we look at the files. HCAT 2i firmware update for DSi. Press A. Press start to proceed. Okay, and now the update is done. And we can turn the DS off. Then we take out the ACE card from the DS. Put it into the DSi. And start it up. Okay, now the icon of the ACE card is changed to Danny Phantom, which is correct. And we press OK to go into the card. Okay, now the ACE card 2i is working on a DSi 1.4.